Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris here, I Touch iPods, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, get the iClassic emulator for your iPhone or iPod Touch uh, via Cydia. This application is available from the Big Boss repo for $2 if you're interested, um, or you can get it for free. There'll be a link in the video description, which is a source you'll need to add. Um, you can get it for free through that. But like I said, otherwise it's available in the Cydia store uh, for two dollars. I'm trying this video with the Flipman OHD, so if nothing's up too close, um, that's why because the Flipman OHD does not have autofocusing or anything like that. So if if it doesn't, if it's not too clear, you know, just try to uh, try to manage. I'm just trying to you know try to shoot a little video with this. But um, iClassic is an emulator that everybody's been waiting for for a really long time. It's something that I'm really excited for. Something that I'm going to be using a lot. And something I think is really cool and that you guys will enjoy. <clears throat> okay, so whether either after you buy it or you get it for free via the link in the video description, I'm not going to show you how to do it um, because I don't know if I'm allowed to show you exactly how to do it, so I'm not going to. But if you're interested, the, like I said, the repo that you'll need to add is in the video description. Um, and what it is going to give you is it's going to give you um, almost an iPod Classic in your iPod Touch or iPhone. So it's going to give you a skin that's going to make your music look exactly like you're using an iPod Classic on your iPod Touch itself. So let me just go ahead and lower the brightness a little bit more for here for here for you guys. Okay. Now, once you have found this package, just go ahead and click uh, install, then confirm, let it run its thing. And this one, iClassic, is from the source in the video description from Be Your iPhone. Um, it, this one comes with a skin along with it because the original one that you can purchase does not have the skin be due to um, copyright and all legal things like that because because of Apple, so they couldn't have the exact same thing. But this one comes with the skin that you can then apply in Winterboard. So once you have everything downloaded, you want to go home. And now what you want to do is you want to find the iClassic icon, whatever it is. Mine just happens to be here, right here on my homepage. And you want to know where your Winterboard is. So once you have iClassic, you can go ahead and open it up, and it's going to give you this loading screen right here. It's going to say iClassic. And then, bam, it's going to give you this. This looks almost, almost exactly like an iPod Classic screen. Now, you guys can tell that the click wheel is a little bit different. You know, it doesn't look exactly the same, but that can be modified with the skins, like I told you. But the cool thing is you can go ahead and go to Menu, and you can go ahead and use the scroll wheel. Go ahead and around in a circle, use the scroll wheel. You can use your finger, do whatever you want. I'm just trying out the stylus a little bit more. But um, it works perfectly. But and something I want to go ahead and show you guys first is I'm going to go home. And you guys saw, that didn't really look like it should. So go ahead and go into Winterboard. And then what you can do is you can enable the iPod Classic theme for iClassic. So once you have that enabled, you can go home, let it respring, do its thing. Now you can go back into iClassic. And what you will now have is, drum roll. Well, you won't have an email, but you'll have... Boom, the click wheel, just like you would on the iPod Classic, right there, looks exactly like it. You can't even tell the difference. If there wasn't the iPod versus the iPod here, the rest of the iPod Touch, you wouldn't be able to tell that that's not an iPod Classic. It looks exactly like it, and the cool thing about it is the menu works, the fast forward, the next, the play, the pause, all that works. Even the click sound work. Let me go ahead and raise the volume up for you guys. You guys can hear with the scroll wheel that works as well. The clicks work exactly like the iPod Classic itself. So this is a great emulator for you guys if you're interested. I'm going to be using this now instead of my music application that comes with the iPod. You guys can see, when you click on the scroll wheel, it actually indents itself a little bit. Um, you can go through your playlist, now playing, artists, art, albums, songs, and settings. And the cool thing is, in the settings, go ahead and scroll around to settings. It's a little bit sensitive, by the way, guys. The touch wheel, it's a little bit sensitive. So you have to go a little bit slow, but... It's not that big of a flaw for uh, such a big application like this. You could choose to have either a silver iPod or a black iPod. You can have the status bar either be shiny or matte. You can have music options, have them repeat or shuffle, and you could change the options with that. If you have an iPhone, you could have it vibrate, and you could also have shake to shuffle. Um, it also, if you have an iPhone, you could set iClassic to launch when you double tap the home button. It says at the bottom, it might not work with the iPod Touch, and it hasn't for me. But that'd be something really cool if they could get that to work. If you could double tap the home button on the iPod Touch and that would come up, I would use that all the time. And then you could also view their website. Because I'm not really sure if you guys can read all that. That's why I'm reading it to you. So there you guys can see the silver one. doesn't look as good as the black one. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. I'm going to go ahead and choose the black classic. 
okay and now here you guys can see that it does look really cool it does look legitimate it looks great it looks just like the ipod classic would i'll go into uh songs go and use my hand you can go into songs click it give it a second to load all the songs because i have a lot of songs on here um you can scroll through all your songs you guys can see so now say you want to play a song i'm going to go ahead i'm going to go into uh, i'll just go into a john mayer song i don't know if you guys can hear this or see this but it says who says I'll go in, and right away I'm just going to pause it so it doesn't start playing. But you guys can see the album artwork comes up just like an iPod Classic would. The artist comes up. The volume controls will come up if you just go ahead and move it like this. And that is actually adjusting the volume on your iPod Touch too. See, I'll go ahead and bring up the volume network or thing right there. And you guys can see, if I go up on it, that one will go up. If I go down on this one, that one will go down. See, I'll put it all the way up on this one. And then I can lower it on this one. And when I go back to this... It will also be lowered. So it's just going to adjust the volume just like it would on your music application. Um, you can have it shuffle, repeat, everything, guys. It has the time. It has your battery, uh, how much it charge has. This application has it all. This is a great emulator. I'm using this now instead of my music app. I think it's great. I think it's going to be something really cool to show to your friends. It's going to work just like it's supposed to. It's a really great application, guys. Go ahead and check it out. This is something you need to check out. So all the links you'll need in the video description. Thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know how you guys think. Let me know what you guys think of this application or emulator in the comments down below. Let me know if you're going to use it. Um, let me know how you guys think it is. All that stuff. Please rate this video five stars as well and favorite if you want. I will catch you all in the next video. Everybody, hope you have a wonderful day. Um, happy holidays, guys. I'll see you later. Peace.